Hey, hey, how are you guys doing? Okay, we're doing, uh, we are coming along. We're almost three quarters of the way through the form. So let's go right back into where we were. Remember we were at single whip. So there's our single whip. And this is the move that we're gonna go into today. Isn't that beautiful? That's called wave hands like clouds. It's an amazing, uh, just to do on its own. Incredible way of reducing stress, just uh, realigning yourself, grounding yourself. It's really amazing. Wave hands like clouds. So we're gonna learn that today. This is going to be a long video. I hate to say it. I was trying to figure out a way to break this up but it just doesn't work because we have to work on the actual movement and then we have to work on the transition from here to here because it's a little bit tricky. But anyway, so let's work on the, the move itself. Before I get going, I'd like to say, I like to give credit where credit's due. I learned this kind of a cool illustration. It's not directly from him, but Rich Morantz. He has a YouTube channel. If you wanna check out his YouTube channel, I'll, I'll put a link under to the channel. Anyway, he has some, some very helpful kind of tips and, uh, and ways of learning stuff. And so I kind of used uh, a little bit of his illustrations to, to, uh, to work on this move. And so I, need, I wanna give him credit where credit's due. Okay, so here's the move. This is wave hands like clouds. Okay, good, great. So wave hands like clouds, remember as this is the core form, we're not doing movement. We're not, we're not doing the walks that we discussed in uh, earlier lessons. This is definitely the case. I am, my feet are planted and I'm doing my wave hands like clouds. You will not see this in any other form. Usually when we're doing wave hands like clouds, we're walking the whole time. So we're walking. This is a sideways walk for wave hands like clouds. But as we were doing the core form, which is kind of a, again, this is basic Tai Chi Chuan. And so this is just a way that we can learn the hands without really having to engage the feet yet. Okay. So with all that being said, Let's break down the hands. I want you to imagine that we are, that you are standing in a beautiful lagoon. Maybe you're in Fiji, Tahiti, one of those beautiful places, and you have water up to your hips. Okay, so you're just standing in this beautiful warm water. And so anyway, here we are. You're looking down, you see all the beautiful fish. So just go ahead and mirror me. Okay, again, I have the, uh, everything is switched around, flipped around. So I have my left arm. You should be able to have your left arm up too. So I want you to imagine we are just, with the right hand, we're just scooping through the water. Okay, that's all we're gonna do for right now is just work on this idea of scooping the water. Okay, and I'm kind of moving too. It doesn't matter if you don't move, but just to kind of get the flow of it. But we're just scooping through the water. We we'll keep doing that until you feel, okay, I feel pretty good with that. I mean, it's a very easy move, but anyway, just do it until you feel comfortable. So that's the scooping part. The next part is I want you to imagine that there's a sun rising. The right hand is my sun. The palm is facing my face and I'm watching the sun as it crosses the sky. And then the sun turns and then I scoop. So it falls into the water and then I scoop. So the sun is rising, I'm watching. The hand, the sun, the palm is facing me. And then the palm turns out. So I flip over and down. So we have scooping and then we have the sun.
Okay, that's it. It wasn't so bad, right? Okay, so let's do the other side. Now I have my right arm. So we start to scoop. You're in your beautiful lagoon. We start to scoop. Just feel comfortable, just scooping. Until you feel, so you don't worry about the sun until you feel like you have the, the scooping down. Okay, when you're ready, then the sun comes up. We're watching the sun as the palm is facing us. And remember, we always turn and then it falls into the water. And then we scoop. Don't worry, we'll add layers to this about the breath and all different kinds of things. But so let's just do this. There it is. Okay, so that's it, both sides. Now, here's where we get into this. We have to throw them both together. Both sides have to work together. So we can start real slow. And I'm, don't worry, don't get too uh, kerfuffled because I'm gonna give you some signposts and pointers to watch out for that might help. I wouldn't do this until you feel very confident doing that on both sides. But the first signpost or the first uh, little check box you want to check off, I want you to imagine we have a big bowl of water in front of our body here and I'm taking water and I'm washing my face. There's a big basin of water. I'm washing my face with this water. Okay, so I'm bringing my hands up to wash my face. Notice when I wash my face, my palms are coming up, right? I don't go backwards because I wouldn't be able to carry any water up. So my palms are coming up to my face and I'm obviously not going down this way because I'm bringing water up to my face, okay? So this, you ask yourself, am I washing my face? Because when we're doing the move, see how my hands are always coming up this way? They're traveling upwards through the center line. So that's your first box you wanna check. Okay, that's the first one. The second one you wanna check is when you have one hand is up here, so the sun, you know, it's at 12 o'clock. This hand is all the way down at the bottom of my scoop. So basically 12 o'clock and six o'clock. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Scoop, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. I'm always bringing the water up to my face. Okay, now this might take a little bit of time. Don't worry, it's okay. You have time to do this. This is a part of the fun. This is a part of the practice, is learning new things, challenging the brain a little bit. Okay, so we ask her, first of all, am I washing my face? Second of all, am I at 12 o'clock and six o'clock? That's your second box you wanna check off. The third one is as I am descending, am I ascending? So when one hand is falling, the other hand should be rising, 12 and six. Falling, rising, 12 and six. Fallen, rising. Okay. So just work with that. You may want to turn the video off until you feel familiar and then you get back into it. But we want to just get to a point to where we feel comfortable with this. Just this movement. This is maybe not something you're gonna learn in one day. One of those kind of things that I would suggest, work on it until you start feeling really frustrated, ah, and then say, okay, I'm gonna take a break, go take, have some tea, call a friend, have a beer, whatever you wanna do, but just relax, okay? This is not, we're not, uh, you know, this is not the, under the whip. 
We just want to enjoy this. So do it to where you start to feel, oh God, and then just take a break. Come back and try it again. I don't know, be in the shower and do this. Or just, just ha- whenever you have some, a spare moment, you're working at your desk, get up and just kind of work. Okay, what are all those things? We talked about the in Fiji, Tahiti, and we're scooping the sun. Okay, so that's, and just keep doing that in little small increments. And then one day you're just going to be like, oh my God, this is, why was this so difficult? It just is flowing so easily. So that's what we want to get to where it just feels very easy. So the next step we want to do is we want to allow the weight to shift. So the weight is shifting from one foot to the other foot. So my left foot is becoming very yang. This is yin. Remember the heavy and light. And now my right foot. So my right hand, my right foot is going to be heavy. My left hand's up and my left foot is heavy. Okay? So that's that. The next thing we want to talk about is where is my face during this time? What am I looking at? So you can see I'm always looking at the sun. As I'm doing this, I'm not watching the mechanics under the water. I'm always watching what the sun is doing. And I am so fixated, it's almost like the sun and my face become one object and I'm being pulled by that sun and the sun pulls my weight into that foot. See how that happens now I'm over here? The sun is pulling, I'm pulling, 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 all my weight is here. Another thing, we are turning from the qua. Remember we talked about the qua? So my turns are more like this. Then I don't want to, we don't want to engage the knees so much. We want to just turn from the qua, okay? But we want to really shift that weight. So we're watching the sun shifting weight and shifting weight. Now, when we apply this to the longer forms, you'll see how this works. Let me show you, again, this is kind of extra stuff. Don't, you don't have to worry about it, but I want to show you how this all works when we do the actual walk, right? So the walk is here. Now, how can I do this where it's so kind of graceful? It's very easy. As I'm moving, Remember my face, I'm stuck here. Remember, when we want to walk, we always have to have the yang leg, which is the heavy leg, is our foundation, our tree. So we always want to move from the yin leg, which is the, you know, the black or white, it's the, the, the black side, that's the yin. We always want to move from the yin foot. We don't want to move the yang foot because that's the, right, that's the, the mountain. So, when we are going to walk this way, my weight is here, and then I step, I can step out with my left foot. Now, I bring the weight over to the left, and that allows me to step in. Now I bring the weight over to the right, that helps me step out. See how this works? And then go the other way. I want to move that way. This has to be heavy so I can move this leg out, right? So here we go. All my weight is on the left, so I can step out with the right. All the weight is on the right, so I can step in with the left. The weight is on the left. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's basically how it works. One last thing. How do we breathe when we're doing this? There's there's lots of variations of breath. For the sake of argument, we're going to inhale with one hand and exhale with the other hand. So we're inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Okay. 
All right, excellent job. Now we're going to get into the transition. So we are at this point with our single whip and we want to end up here with my fate, my fate, my feet, our uh, toes are on the same line. I'm going straight forward. So I'm on, this is on the baseline, right? So I'm, I'm going from in a front stance, heading to the west. And then I'm going to end up being on the baseline, heading north and doing my wave, waving hands. So how do we do that? Let's use the economy of motion. Let me show you how it works first. Notice if you can see some th adjustments. You see how that, let me do it one more time. See how that happened? So, to start out with, forget about the hands for a moment. We're here. Here's just the footwork. One more time. Front stance. Haha, -ha, see? Okay. So let, let's break it down. We're in our front stance. My left leg is, is straight ahead. So I pour my weight back into the right leg. The weight back in the right leg allows my left leg to become yin. And now I can move. I pivot that foot. So now this is facing the direction I want. That's exactly where it wants to be. I don't have to move that after that. So from here, pour the weight back, pivot on the left heel. Okay, now we're in a completely weird position, but we're going to fix that. So now I pour the weight into the left leg. Now this is yang, this is yin. And this allows me to pull my right leg back to where I'm now shoulder width, both legs this way. Because right now I'm on a railroad track. My left leg is further back. My right leg is forward. So when I turn, this leg, I, they both need to be on the same railroad track, right? Which is the, the one that's on the left foot. So I have to pull that right leg back. So here we go. Turn. All of my weight's on the right. I shift the weight to the left. And then I can just pull that right leg back. And then I begin to wave hands like clouds. This is all considered the transition. And now I start one. Okay. And now I count when I'm doing my wave hands like clouds, I count my right hand three times. So I count one, two, and three, right hand, okay? Let's do this one more time from here. So let's add the hands with this. As I pull the weight back, this hand, the right hand just kind of floats there. The left hand is, it's kind of already starting to scoop. So from here, as I pour my weight into the right, right hand is floating, left hand starts to scoop. Now I bring the weight into the left and I'm already starting to look at the sun. This hand is just dropping and I pull the weight back. And now I really start up. There's one. And two. Let's see that again. So from here, we pull the weight back to the right. Right hand floats, left hand comes up, and then we bring it here so I can slide that right foot back. And now we start. One. 
two. Let's do that a couple more times. Let me do it from this angle. See if it'll maybe help a little bit. So from here. Comes back and then we start one, two. Do it one more time here. See how I'm on that railroad track? They both need to be on this line here. So from here, pour into the right, turn my left foot, pour into the left, slide the right foot back, and then I start to count one, two. We're getting it, right? Okay, so let's do it one last time. We're gonna count, and then we're gonna set up for our kick, which is next week. One, two, three, all the way it goes into the left leg. Pour it into the left and the left, because then we're gonna bring it up, and then we're gonna kick with the right foot. But that comes next week. We've done enough here today. Well, just one more thing, let's bring in the breath. Here's our exhale. Here's inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and the kick comes, all right? You did an amazing job, guys. We are moving ahead. We're through most of the hard stuff. But that was a really tricky one we just did. But anyway, have fun with that. You're going to enjoy it. And again, it's just an amazing thing just to do in your own time. All right. I won't keep you any longer. Take care. Have a great week. All right.